Hey guys, how's it going? New Machine 2.4.5 is out and it's already been replaced two days later with Machine 2.4.6 due to a little bit of an error. New slicing features, really cool, and a lot of other features. Here's how you install that through Service Center. Get an email from Native Instruments uh, saying like, hey, we screwed up, here's the update. Kind of cool, they're on the ball, no big deal. Indeed, a host of new features. Here's a little list and Let's talk a little bit about the new slicing feature. It's always a bit tedious, and now you can do that automatically, rhythmically, uh, by playing back the entire sample and then hitting the pads. So let's go into the slicing mode after we recorded this. Playing back the sample, I'm letting the metronome count in. And then I'm hitting the pads as I feel it. And it creates the slice. Uh, that's a much more intuitive way of doing it, of course. And now, automatically on the pads, we have these segments line up. It's sliced, and you can do that obviously a lot faster. And you can do that rhythmically. You can pound out a beat by your hands, and it'll be exactly that on the pads. It's to be done in a much more complex way. One of the new features is now that the audio and MIDI settings are no longer where they are. Here's the old one. And now it's in the preferences. Makes a lot more sense. I never understood why it was there. And it's also been updated a little bit. It reacts faster. So the slider for the latency, for the buffer size, reacts without delay. That was a bit of a pain before. And uh, it gives us also the round trip and then all that information. Um, so that has been upgraded, not just the way where it's placed, the way it's implemented so much better work thank you very much for that it was time another cool feature is now we have a loop feature from within the software here and that's completely independent from the scenes we can move that around freely like in a regular DAW yeah and another big feature is now we can set the scene length completely independently from the pattern so the patterns no longer dictate how long a scene is. See how the length of my pattern in D1 determines the length of the scene that's called chorus. And I'm changing that right now. I'm actually changing it on the hardware controller. So now the scene length can be liberally adjusted and now if we move entire portions and sections, that's much better. Here's the loop. So we can freely move the loop around, that's great too. Much easier to drag. So DAW features here, keep it coming, Native Instruments, keep it coming. So what other features stand out? You can now export in AIFF, not just in WAV format. Would be nice to do that in MP3, maybe a future update for the social media posts and so forth. So what's missing in this update, two things are missing. Native Instruments, are you listening? First of all, Retina MacBook Pro support. I'm sure that at least half of your customer base must be on MacBook Pros, and most of them are probably now Retina or iMac with iMacs with Retina display screens. The user interface at this point, it's a disgrace. It's blurry as hell on a Retina MacBook Pro. All this is coded for 1080p or 1920 by 1200 and so forth. It doesn't support uh, really high definition uh, menus and fonts and so forth. All the other software, uh, all the other softwares do that already. Let it be tack sharp. Why not? Why does it have to be blurry? Um, hopefully soon. It's been long, long overdue. The other thing is when slicing, uh, it shows me seconds. It shows me time. I want beats. When I look at a recorded sample and I'm working on it, it would be nice like in Ableton to see that in reference to the tempo. That is a DAW feature. Uh, I don't think we should turn Native Instruments machine into a DAW. It's not supposed to be a Logic or a Pro Tools or so forth, but let's use some of the features that are very helpful in producing, because if I record a bass sample and I want to cut that, where does that sit in regards to the beat? That would be very important, you know? Uh, not everything is like a free, you know, sample that you just play freely over it and, you know, bang on pads in real time. Um, I think music is evolving and the way people are working is very different. So give us those options. But 
Thank you very much. Keep it coming. Uh, one of the best softwares out there, one of the best hardwares out there, native instruments, my thumbs up. Thank you.